So you want to trade crypto. That's awesome. But but wait, there's something you need to know. It's called exchange fees. These are small charges you pay when you buy or sell. Exchanges use this money to operate and for security. These fees might seem tiny at first, but they add up fast, especially if you trade a lot. Those small fees can eat into your profits, a big chunk if you're not careful. It's not just about the price of Bitcoin going up. You have to beat the fees too. Exchanges have all sorts of fees. You might hear about maker fees or taker fees. Some exchanges have different fee levels. The more you trade, the less you might pay. Think of an exchange like a digital marketplace for crypto. They provide the place to trade and the tools and charts. The fees are like paying a small rent or a commission for using their services. You absolutely need to factor these into your trading plan. Ignoring them is a recipe for losing money. Seriously. Let's talk about spot trading first. This is the most common way to trade. You buy a crypto like Bitcoin or Ethereum, you pay the current market price and the crypto goes straight into your wallet. You own it directly. It's yours. Simple as that. Now, for these spot trades, there are fees. Usually, it's a percentage of your trade amount. So if you buy $100 of crypto, you pay a tiny bit more. Exchanges often have maker and taker fees here. A taker is someone who buys or sells immediately at the current market price. They take liquidity. A maker places an order that doesn't fill right away. They make liquidity by adding to the order book. Takers often pay more. This fee is charged when you buy and also when you sell. That $1 fee or even a 20 cent fee starts to hurt. It hurts when you make lots of trades. Each trade chips away a little bit, your profits get smaller or your losses get bigger. Always check that fee schedule before you trade. All right, let's get into something a bit more advanced, margin trading. This is where you borrow money from the exchange. It allows you to make much bigger trades than you could with just your own cash. This can magnify your profits, but, and this is a huge but, it also magnifies your losses. It's very risky. When you trade on margin, there are extra fees. First, you still pay a trading fee, similar to spot trading fees, usually a percentage, but it's calculated on your total leverage position, not just your own money. Then there's the margin interest fee. This is the cost of borrowing the funds. It usually adds up every day or even every hour. Let's imagine you have $100. You decide to use 10 times leverage. So uh, the exchange lends you $900. Now you're trading with $1,000. You'll pay a trading fee on that full $1,000. Plus, you'll pay interest on the $900 you borrowed. Every single day, you keep that position open. Section 4, Futures Trading Fees, Betting on Future Crypto Prices. All right, next up, let's dive into futures trading. You're not buying crypto directly here. Well, not just yet. Instead, what you're doing is trading contracts. These contracts agree on a price for a crypto asset to be bought or sold at a specific future date. Or, if you're dealing with perpetual futures, they don't even have an expiry date. People use futures to guess future prices or to protect against price swings. Now, futures trading has its own fee structure, just like spot and margin trading. You'll often encounter maker and taker fees. The percentage rates for futures fees might look lower, often much lower than spot trading fees, but here's the catch. They apply to the full contract value. This is what we call the notional value. Even if you only put down a small amount of margin to open the trade, the actual fee amount can still be significant. Uh, Section 5, spot versus margin versus futures fees, key differences unpacked. So we've covered spot margin and futures fees. Let's quickly break down the main differences. Spot trading fees are usually the simplest. It's a straightforward percentage of your trade. Margin trading adds a layer of complexity as you have the trading fee plus interest on your loan. Futures trading fees are on the contract value and you have to consider funding rates too. The way fees are calculated also differs. For spot trades, fees are on the actual amount of crypto bought or sold. For margin, the trading fee is on the total leveraged amount. For futures, fees are on the entire notional value of the contract. Think about how often these fees hit you. Spot fees happen once per trade. One when you buy, one when you sell. Margin interest is an ongoing cost. It accrues daily, even hourly. Section 6. Smart ways to slash those pesky exchange fees. Okay, here's the good news. You're not helpless against fees. There are smart ways to reduce them. First off, many exchanges have their own crypto tokens like Binance Coin or Qcoin shares. If you hold these tokens or use them to pay fees, you often get a discount on your trading fees. This can be a pretty decent saving, sometimes 20 to 25% off. Another tip trade more volume. Usually, most exchanges have a tiered fee system. The more you trade in a 30-day period, the higher your VIP level or tier, and the lower your trading fees become. 
This is great for very active traders, but please don't trade more than you should just to chase lower fees. Want another pro tip? Try to be a maker. Makers add orders to the book that don't fill instantly. These are usually limit orders at a specific price. Makers often pay lower fees, sometimes even zero. Finally, compare different exchanges. Fee structures can vary wildly.